Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and today we're here with Alfie Moore. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm absolutely brilliant. So tell us a bit about your show, is it Viva Alves Vegas? It is Viva yeah. Alves Vegas. It's uh, at the Pleasance Courtyard. Uh, this side is a venue. It's on at 9.50 every night. It's about gambling. Yeah. I was a child gambler. Yes, I've heard of a story about that, actually. Yeah, tell us a bit about that. Okay, uh, it started when I was eight. I lost my teddy bear's eyes playing cards when I was eight, which is a bit weird, yeah. I know. And then it got worse, by the teens, I would, I would say I was a compulsive gambler. I got into betting shops and then into casinos when I was about 15 and 16 and had years. It sounds awful, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a very funny show and uh, the story's where I've won a lot of money too. And, uh, and it's also about my concern really with gambling was deregulated in 2005 mm. and now that's why we see all the adverts, all of the TV and yeah. roulette and apps and all of the newspapers. And I'm a bit concerned about that really. Yeah, so it's about all that and sort of, um, it's also, you were a policeman. Still am technically, oh, still yeah, yeah. I'm, on a, I'm on a career break from the yeah. police. So I've not been at work for two years, but that's a job that's, that's been left open for me to go back to. Yeah. Well, that's good. If, if comedy doesn't work out, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. do you use a lot of uh, stuff to do with the police work you did and stuff in your performances? Yeah, my, my, the show last year was very heavy police based. This is about something else, really, but yeah. I talk about joining the police and I, yeah. I talk about sort of having a gambling problem while trying to hold down this responsible yeah. job in the police as well. So that's part of it, yeah, and I think that's that's one thing that makes, makes me a bit different the fact that the cop angle, people see Yeah, I've not heard of anyone who's sort of. And how, how do you go from a. Uh, Sort of being a police officer or a policeman to going into comedy because they're quite sort of different things. Completely different and yet very similar yeah. in, in certain ways. In the police, you're always having under pressure to make a connection with people very quickly, yeah. and it's like that in comedy. Club. Every time you walk on stage, the most important thing for a comedian to do is make that connection with the audience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're fighting to do that, and the police is the same. It's the same nerve wracking. But it's probably more terrifying being on stage really? than it is being in a fight in the police. Oh, yeah. I, I should think, yeah. So it's they've got they're very very similar. But I I took it up really about six years ago as a hobby, and I just loved it, and that was it. And it, it sort of took over. I, I had no idea that it was going to suddenly take off and lead to a full time job. But that's that's what happened. So it that's just brilliant. shows you you never know sort of what what you've got creative inside mm -hmm. you. So you performed at the Fringe before. What do you like about performing at the Edinburgh Fringe? Oh, this is the best festival in the world. The, the whole city it is vibrant for a month. And I know that the flyers can get a bit annoying, but you've got all that <laughs> colour and you've got all that street theatre. And it's, it's, I mean, it's a beautiful city anyway. But in August, it's, 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 it's the whole energy is brilliant. So what have you got planned after the Fringe uh, for the sort of next year ahead? After Fringe, I'll take this, this show on tour throughout the autumn and, uh, and into spring. I'll tour this show. And then before you know it, You'll be thinking about new ideas yeah. to write your next show to start the process all over again. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun process, but hard work. You're always doing something. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking Pleasure. to us. I'm Lucinda Shale, and you've been watching Waffle TV. Great. Thank you very much Just for coming. Right. Pleasure. Great nice to meet you. Cheers.